Welcome to our Spark Insights video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many developers encounter while working with Apache Spark. Our viewer is curious about the execution timing of cache and persist operations in their Spark application. Specifically, they want to know when these operations are executed, especially since they don't seem to behave like traditional actions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. In Spark, operations on RDDs are categorized into transformations and actions. Transformations like map are lazy and do not execute immediately. In your code snippet, the persist method is called on RDD2. However, this does not trigger any execution. Instead, it marks RDD2 to be cached when an action is called. When you call count on RDD2, Spark executes the transformations leading up to that action, including the map transformation. This is when RDD2 is actually persisted To answer your question, persist is considered a transformation because it sets up the caching mechanism, but it does not trigger execution until an action is called. In summary, the map transformation executes when the count action is called and RD2 is persisted at that time. Persist itself is a transformation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, the map transformation is executed when the count is called, not when persist is called. The data is read, mapped, and persisted all at once during the count statement. Persist is not strictly a transformation or an action. It's more like a transformation because Spark is lazy and only performs work when a result is needed. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.